Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. In today's episode, we're going to take on LT Surge at the uh, Vermilion Gym. First, though, there's a bush in the way, and we're going to have to teach Cut to someone. Um, so let's just do that right now. TMO one cut. Right, who can learn it? Uh, okay, Hobbit or Danny? Hobbit or Danny? Um, you know what? Probably give this to Danny. It's the only HM it can learn, she can learn, so we might as well give it to her. And get rid of Focus Energy, it's a move we do not need. There we go. Simple as that. Bing! And Danny learned Cut. We also have a bunch of these TMs that we need to, I don't know, we should start giving these to people I guess, at some point, but not right now. So let's just cut down this bush and head into this gym. What you got to say? You, champ in the making, LT Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert at electric Pokemon. Bird, water type Pokemon match? Poorly against electric types. Beware of paralysis too. LT Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in so it can't be easy to get in. Yeah, uh, yeah, he locked himself in. It can't be easy getting to him because he's got this stupid fucking gym puzzle that everyone hates. Ah, uh, so let's just fight these trainers first. This is no place for kids. Not even if you're good. Well, aren't you confident, Sailor Dwayne? Oh, he has a Pikachu. Well, I love 21 now. This thing's actually kind of high leveled. Oh god, don't we start with the double teams, Pikachu? God damn it. That bullets the hell out of it, Lanny. Couple more. Two more. Yeah, there we go. Five hats. Good job. Oh, that was a bunch of XP. And another Pikachu. Love 21. So, oh, slam. Ow. Ah, only three times. Oh god damn it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh god damn it. Come on. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh for fuck's sake. Lanny, please please just hit this thing with the bullet seed. Oh for fuck. Oh my fucking god. Okay, you know what? Fuck you, Pikachu. You wanna fucking do this shit? How say hello to Crash? Yeah, what are you gonna fucking do now? What are you gonna fucking do now, you little bitch? It may take a while to kill it, because of those stupid double teams, but it ain't gonna do any damage to me anytime soon, so... Oh, my fucking god. There we go. Fuck you, Pikachu, you little bitch. God damn. That was so irritating. Fucking spam and double team like that, holy crap. Right, uh, we need to heal Lanny. Uh, we've got some paralyzed heals, so there we go. And super potion. Back up to full HP. Okay, let's hope, let's hope none of these other assholes have got frickin' Pikachus that are just gonna spam double team like that. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Was that supposed to be a joke? I'm a lightweight. Like, you know, like lightning, you yeah. know. Engineer Bailey. Yeah, he's got a full turbo. No problem. Lanny, you can take care of that's no problem. Ow. As long as it doesn't have explosion. Or self-destruct. Oh. Ow. Of course it paralyzed me. Of course I'm fully paralyzed. Ah, oh, god damn. Oh, come on. What the fuck is this shit? Fully paralyzed like nearly every single fucking turn. This has poison will help get rid of this fucking water for quicker. Oh my fucking god. Seriously, Lanny? Stop being paralyzed. Just bullet seed the fucking. Oh my god. This is getting fucking ridiculous. Oh my fucking god, again. Seriously, that's like the third time in a row? Oh my god. Right, seriously. This is getting fucking ridiculous. That's four times in a row. Four fucking times. And this thing has got fucking sonic boom. 
Finally! Jesus Christ! Oh my fucking god! Magnemite, right. Crash, get in here and fucking destroy this thing. Oh my fucking god. That was just fucking unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks like this is going to be an episode of constant hacks. Like, seriously, the amount of times I... that Lanny got fully paralysed in that match. Like, five times in a row. Like, seriously. Oh, fucking hell. And that Sonic Boom wasn't helping. So cheap. Right, where have you go? When I was in the army, LT Surge was my strict CEO. He was a hard taskmaster. Yeah, whatever. What do you say, old man? Gentleman Tucker. Ah, Pikachu. Well, 23, holy crap. Uh, okay, let's put this thing asleep so it's not... <coughs> if it's asleep, it can't thunder wave me, it can't double team, it can't do shit. So let's just do that to make this a little fucking easier. God damn. There we go, getting some good hacks on me this time. Get some good luck with these bullet seeds. There we go, that was easy enough. Ah, nearly leveled up. Stop, you're very good. Damn right I am. Don't know why I gave him an Indian accent there, that was weird. Okay, well let's heal Honey up. Fully. And then... We'll uh, try and figure out this fucking puzzle so we can fight LT Surge. Nope. 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 God damn. Where the hell is it? Okay, come on. Where is it? Where is it? I bet it'll be in the fucking la- Oh, there it is. No, I was about to say it bet it'll be in the- Oh god, I didn't mean to hit it twice. Damn it. I accidentally pressed the A on the same one twice. Fuck me. It's usually in one of the la- Okay, there we go. And... This one? Yes, there we go. That was pretty lucky. We got through that pretty quick, guys. Okay, so we're gonna use the Lanny first. Yes. And if things get too hairy, we can just easily switch into Crash and he'll be able to take care of him this pretty, pretty easily. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Ah, oh, fuck you! Let's just see who wins this battle. How are you going to paralyse me if I have a golem out, you fucking asshole? Oh, a Voltorb. Great. I'm gonna guess you're gonna fucking paralyze me, and then you're gonna f use Sonic Boom. Well, I don't think Shortwave can actually paralyze you, so I don't care about that. I'm just gonna put you asleep. Okay, now uh, let's try and get five bullet seed hits. Okay, come on. A few more, a few more. Aw, oh, really? Only two? God damn it, Lanny. Okay, there we go, that's three. Oh, yeah, I suppose that's better than two. I think um, at least another three will maybe kill this thing. Okay, two. One more. There we go. That's a knockout. There we go. That wasn't too much trouble. I set up to level 22 as well. So, awesome. Ah, uh, Pikachu. Alright. Let's just send Crash in to finish the rest of this off. The whole team's on level 22 now, so... Okay, so Magnitude. Oh, don't start this shit, Pikachu. Fucking double team, holy crap. Magnitude 8. There we go. That should be it, knocked out in one hat, I think. Oh, crack lot. Wow. That was probably pretty much an overkill. And the last Pokemon's right you, obviously, so... This should be easy enough, though. 
Uh, unless it wants to just double team. Oh, we're six. I should still do a decent amount of damage though. There we go. Knocked out in one hit. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then. Take this in their badge. Yeah. To be honest, that's uh, that's the first, that's three gems now, and uh, we've actually owned pretty much every gem so far. We've not had any trouble. But I suppose we've been pretty lucky. You know, pretty lucky starting off with the grass type that's uh, super effective against the first two gems, and then catching that golem, which basically made LT Surge totally useless. Yeah. If you have a, if you have a ground type that has good uh, physical defense then LT Surge pretty much can't do a single thing to you. You can just destroy his whole gym and he just can't touch you. So uh, yeah. And uh, the next gym is Erika, the grass gym. And uh, I suppose we have we have quite a few things to deal with that. You know, we have um, we have Beedrill and we have Lani. Well, I suppose Lani can't really do much because she's poison grass, but yeah, we have um, we have Danny and Tyler. Those two can pretty much deal with that whole gym by themselves. So that's awesome. Anyway, let's uh, talk to this guy. Oh, hello, Steven. How are you doing? It's me, one of Professor Oak's aides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a package for me. If I've caught at least 10 Pokemon. Uh, please. Wait, what? Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's right. I have to go I have to go to the other side of Mountain Moon to get Flash. Okay, well, let's go do that quickly. Uh, I'm just going to grab some. I'm just going to grab some repels, so we can get through... Uh, so we can get through the frickin... Diglett Cave a lot faster. And we... because we'll need to get Flash, because un unlike the original games, if, I, in red, if it was red and blue, I could... red, blue or yellow, I could actually... It's actually pretty easy to get through the dark cave without Flash, like you can still kind of see everything, like where you're going and stuff. So it's not too difficult, but in this game it is, uh, you do, you do need it. It is definitely required to get through though, there without it being just irritating. So, let's definitely go get Flash. I hope I've caught 10, have I caught more than 10? Ah, uh, really? I've, I've caught 9 Kanto Pokemon? I only need one more. I only need one more so that I can get the freaking Flash THM. Right, well... I think I might... Ah, oh, Venomoth. Okay, not that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I do need to get that HM move. It's kind of necessary for me to get through the game. Unless you get... Because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me wander around the dark cave and darkness without being able to see where the hell I'm going. So, I'm going to try and catch a Kanto Pokemon. Oh, God, God damn, Gold Team, come on. I'm going to try and catch... Um, a Kanto Pokemon. I'm just going to put Dylan at first, because he's the fastest I have, so he will be... In fact, Hobbit's got run up that ability runaway, so he can just run away from stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and see if, if there's a Pokemon in here that I've not caught that's Kanto that I can catch. Okay, not Bayleaf. That's pretty awesome. Though. Um, I'm just going to catch it so that I can get the HM, and then, I'm gonna, and then I'll go release it. So it's not going to get used at all. It's just so that I can get the HM. Uh, okay, Venomoth, it looks like it's just going to have to be Venomoth. So let's, uh, let's, let's attack this thing. Oh, God damn it. Okay, tackle it. Okay. Uh, okay, let's send out Lani to put it to sleep and then we can catch it just so we can get ourselves some... I suppose this isn't really too cheating too much. Because we're going we're gonna to have a Venomoth eventually. Because we have Tyler, so... Let's hope that we can catch this thing just so we can get... Uh, the HM. There we go. Uh, no, not in that game, because we're not going to be keeping it. Okay. Okay, let's go get Flash. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I got ten species, yes I do. 
Yes, great. You've caught 10 kids. Pokemon here, you, you. A team of 5. Thank you very much. So, let's go down here and get these items. First, before we do anything. I need them in a paralyzed heal. Not exactly great items, but you know. Is there a hidden item around here? Yeah, I can't be bothered looking. Okay, well, let's head back. <laughs> now that we have Flash. Now, um, so I think the... Um, I don't know who we're going to give Flash to. I think the only person on our team that can learn it is probably Dylan. Um, Get repel out. Don't want to have to deal with all these wild Pokemon appearing. I don't know why they made Diglett Cave so big in this game. I guess they were trying to make it a little more realistic for the distance that it goes in the game. Because it goes all the way from here to Pewter City, basically. Oh, I took one extra step. Come on. Man, it's a freaking Venomoth. Let's just run away. Okay. Let's just use another freaking repel. Yeah, I guess they were just trying to make it, like, actually the realistic kind of length of how long it would take to run over there. Because in the original game, this was definitely... It was probably less than half the, the length that it is in this game. And it goes all the way to frickin... Pure City from here, so it's quite a long distance, I guess. Yeah, okay. So let's, uh... Go on. Let's uh, get rid of this Venomoth that we caught for that. And release. Bye bye. Now, well, okay, we've got we've got Lee's, Martin, oh, what's that called? A bead mail. Huh. And we've got Julie and Cody and Frank. And here waiting for us. So we'll maybe come get you guys soon, depending on how uh, depending if any of the members of the team die. God forbid. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Cause that would suck. Okay. Head back up to Cerulean City now. Uh, through the grass. There we go. So I think um, this is probably going to be the end of the episode here, guys. We've uh, beat the gym and we went and got cut and stuff. So uh, I think after, yeah, we're just going to head up. I'm just going to head up to that bush and we're going to save it there, and we're going to start heading towards the dark cave in the next episode. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this episode guys, and if you liked it, leave a comment, and a like, and share it with friends, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.